everybody, it's Sabrina Campbell, a personal trainer with Boutique Fitness. Today we are going to show some form with our weights and we're using our leg muscles, they're big muscles, so they can handle a lot of weight. We've got our quads, we've got hamstrings, we got, it's all down there, it's everywhere. We're using our abs for this, our glutes. There's a lot of muscles down here so you can use heavier weight. Go 30s, challenge yourself, try it, okay? Let's grab our weights and even just picking these up, I want you to practice your form because you don't want to pick it up and round your back and try to really rip them up. You want to engage everything as you pick it up. Even picking up weights is an exercise. We have to focus on that. We're using our core the entire time. We got our shoulders back and down. We're pulling that belly button towards the spine and we're tucking the pelvis. We're never letting it duck out, yeah? Pull it in. We're going to work on a deadlift. So you can do this with two weights in each hand. You are going to place your hands forward and let yourself start to dip forward. I'm just going to show you one real quick so you can see what it looks like. Right there. Now let's go over it. So, my shoulders are pulled back, my abs are tight, I'm letting my heel raise, and that's going to initiate my chest to drop. And I'm also making sure that I'm not dropping anything down like this, yes? Doesn't feel good. It hurts my back just thinking about it. You am going to lift it forward, heel comes up. If your heel stops, going up and you keep going down, you're not getting the movement that you need to get. So stop where your leg stops and then just come back up to the top, do it again. If you want to, you can do it with one kettlebell or dumbbell, whatever way you have chose, and you're going to hold it in the hand, same as the leg that's coming up. Right there, yes? Next one, grabbing those kettlebells, you're going to do a lunge. I'm just going to show you real quick what it looks like. I'm going to step forward. Down, step up together. I want you to notice that I did not rip myself back as I was coming together. You do not want to do one of these. Oh, you're not working your core when you do that. Step forward, drop it down nice and low. Give yourself a little crunch in those abs to step forward and keep that pretty, pretty line, yeah? Sounds good? Of course, we're working our legs here, so it feels nice. Hold on to those kettlebells. Next one we're going to do is a row. You can do this in a couple of different ways. You can come down into this nice lunge right here. We got ourselves nice and low. Press your arm on top of that knee. Grab your weight and you're gonna pull it up right there. We always wanna work our back muscles because when we use weight, we tend to forget that our back is working a lot to keep everything in control as we're using these weights for squats, lunges, deadlifts, all of those things. So, you're gonna use this. Hold that shoulder to up and together. Slowly lower it down for that control. Don't let it just drop. It's gonna hurt your shoulders. You can also put yourself on the ground like so. If you have dumbbells, this might work a little bit better. Kettlebells tend to kind of pull your arm up and you lose a little bit of the range of motion. But you can do it this way. Row, row, yeah. Sounds good? All right, hope to see you guys in class. See you next time, bye.